Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install the Doggy Talents mod in Minecraft 1.18.1. This mod's really, really cool. It adds in like different stuff that you can do with wolves slash dogs in Minecraft. Basically turning more wolves into dogs in Minecraft. So as far as I know, taming is relatively the same, but from there you can teach them unique talents. Dogs have leveling systems. You can play fetch. So much cool stuff that you can do in game. And I think dogs can even like run away in some cases because you can like track them and stuff like that. Really, really, really cool and an amazing amazing mod that kind of adds a new element to owning a dog or having a dog in minecraft so first and foremost you do our sponsor which is apex minecraft host and go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex to start your very own 24-hour ddos protected minecraft server we love just apex so much that we have our own server played our breakdowncraft.com on them so if you want to start your own minecraft server check out apex the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex to get your server up and running nevertheless though let's get doggy talents up and running in 1.18.1 the first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below that'll take you here this is the doggy Talents download page, or they want to come over here to the right hand side and scroll down until you find Minecraft 1.18 Doggy Talent. Click on the orange download button to the right of this, and it'll take you up to a page where after a few seconds, Doggy Talents will start downloading. Now, on some browsers like Google Chrome, you may need to keep the file in the bottom left. That's 100% safe to do so. It's 100% safe to keep this file. It's been downloaded over 13 million times, so you're going to keep it there. However, on Mozilla Firefox, you may need to save it in the center of your screen, but you probably will need to keep or save the file depending on your browser. Browser. Now moving on, we need Forge. Forge is the mod loader that, uh, well, basically Doggy Talents works on. Without Forge, Doggy Talents doesn't work at all. So how do we get Forge? Well, you want to go to the third link down below, and that's going to take you here. This is our complete guide on how to download and install Forge. Now we're going to be going over the basics in this video, but if you do want more in-depth help, you have some issues or something like that during the process, this tutorial can help you out. Once you're here, though, scroll down and click on the green Download Forge button to be taken to the official Forge download page. Once you're here, you want to make sure 1.18.1 is selected. Do that. Come over here to the left hand side and make sure 1.18 is basically in bold there. 1.18.1, excuse me, is in bold there. Then come under MC 1.18.1, go to download latest and click on installer. Then after a few seconds, you'll be taken off to add focus. We're stopped. Don't click anything on this page. What you need to do is wait about 10 seconds and then a red skip button will appear in the top right. So sit back, wait, and then this red skip button appears in the top right. Go ahead and click on that red skip button and Forge will download. Now, do not click anything on this page except that red skip button, and Forge will download in the bottom left. As you can see, you may need to keep the file. I didn't, but you may need to keep it in the bottom left of Google Chrome. It's 100% safe to do that as long as you have Forge in the title of the file. Same thing on Mozilla Firefox. You may need to save it in the center of your screen as long as it has Forge in the title. You're safe to do that. Now, we can go ahead and minimize our browser, and we need to get Forge as well as Doggy Talents to our desktop. To do that, you want to click on the little Windows icon, top it up to my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen, unless you're on Windows 11, then it's in the center of your screen. Click on that little Windows icon and type in downloads. You have the downloads file folder here. Open that up and in here you'll find Forge and Doggy Talents. Drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Once Forge and Doggy Talents are on your desktop, let's go ahead and start off by installing Forge. However, if your icons don't look like mine, I'm going to show you how to fix that. Just keep watching the tutorial. It's all going to be covered. First, let's see if Forge can be opened though. Right click on Forge, click on Open with, click on Java. If you don't have Java, just keep watching. We're going to fix it and then click OK. Now at this point, if you have the correct version of Java and you have basically everything kind of working correctly, the mod system installer for Forge should open up. But if Forge didn't open up because you either clicked on Java, clicked OK, and it just didn't work, or it opened up with like a, a weird, you know, black screen in the mod installer, or on top of that, you just don't have Forge at all, or the icons right here are just wrong, right? They don't look correct. They look like anything but this icon here. To fix all of that, it's the same process. You need to download and install Java 17. Java 17 is required for Minecraft 1.18 plus mods. That would include Doggy Talents. It's also required for Minecraft's like hosting your own Minecraft server. So it's very important to get Java 17. It's a must have if you're gonna be doing anything outside of just playing vanilla Minecraft. This link is in the description down below. It goes over every step of getting Java 17. It's a quick, simple three-step text tutorial as well as a video that goes in depth. On top of that though, you may install Java 17. Your icons could still look weird or it still may not work. You still may try to open up Forge. It doesn't work correctly. In that case, you need to run the jar fix. This is gonna take all the jar files on your computer and link them to Java, making them work correctly. Don't run the jar fix though without installing Java. If you do, it won't work. Nonetheless, let's go ahead and now right click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. The mod system installer for Forge is gonna open up where you just click on Install Client and click OK. It's then gonna install Forge, and the only reason it wouldn't work at this point is if you haven't played Minecraft 1.18.1 yet. If that's the case, go play it vanilla with nothing installed. Just go launch Minecraft 1.18.1 to the main menu, close out of it, and then you'll be good to go. Nevertheless, as you can see, successfully install Client Profile Forge. Awesome. At this point, we can click OK, and it's going to close out of the Forge installer. We can then delete Forge from our desktop. It's time to install Doggy Talents. To do that, you want to open up the Minecraft launcher here. 
And then in the Minecraft launcher, we want to make sure that our Forge installation is selected. So once the Minecraft for launcher is open up here, you'll see that Forge should automatically be selected. And in my case, it is right there. It is Forge 1.18.1-Forge under it. That's the most important part, by the way. 1.18.1-Forge needs to be in your version. However, if you don't have Forge here, click on this little arrow and then select it from this screen. And if it's not in this screen, don't worry, I'm going to show you how to fix that. Or if it doesn't say 1.18.1-Forge here, what do you do? Well, click on installations up here at the top. Make sure modded is checked. As you can see, we uncheck modded. Modded disappears. Forge disappears. We check on modded. There it is. Forge reappears. Awesome stuff. Click play. Click play again. However, if you still don't have Forge here or you don't have the correct version of Forge 1.18.1, what do you do? Well, you click on new installation. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com, which just so happens to be our own incredible 1.18.1 grief protected survival and skyblock server. It is absolutely incredible. We put a ton of time, ton of work into Breakdowncraft, and we cannot wait to see you online. Now let's go ahead and click on the version drop down box here. We want to select release 1.18.1-Forge. Mine's at the top, but you may need to scroll ways to find yours. This is the most important part of this. You have to make sure 1.18.1-Forge is selected under version or none of this will work. Nevertheless, we can then go ahead and save or create in the bottom right, right there. I did change my resolution. That's just so we can we see once we get in game. But let's go ahead and click this green create button. And now we have playdarbreakdowncraft.com, but most importantly, we have 1.18.1-Forge under it. Hover over this and click on the green play button. That's going to open up this little warning saying, hey, you're about to play modern Minecraft. You sure you're okay with that? Say you understand what you're doing and click play. Now, Minecraft 1.18.1 is going to open up with Forge installed. Awesome stuff. And now we can get Doggy Talents installed. The hardest part's over. The hardest part of getting Doggy Talents is installing Forge. And by the way, it's going to take a while to open up Forge in comparison to Vanilla Minecraft. So if something like this happens, don't freak out. Just sit and wait. Eventually, it will open. There you go. See, it's opened. And by the way, this white screen, also normal. It's going to happen. Just sit and wait. And eventually, it will land where we'll be able to see Mojang. Once we see that, I'm going to go ahead. Yeah, there we go. Now I'm going to jump cut. I'll see you on the Minecraft main menu. And here we are on the Minecraft main menu. Now let's install Doggy Talents. From the Minecraft main menu, you want to click on this mod mods button right here. Then click on open mods folder in the bottom left. Again, that's from the Minecraft main menu. Click on mods and then click on open mods folder in the bottom left. Now, all we want to do is take doggy talents and drag and drop it into the mods folder right like so. It's that simple. Once you've got Doggy Talents in your mods folder, come back to Minecraft and Doggy Talents isn't going to be there. What we need to do is click Done and click Quick Game. Then we need to open up the Minecraft launcher again. This time we want to again make sure Forge is selected. You must play with Forge in order to play with Doggy Talents. It's a requirement. Most likely it's going to be automatically selected. As you can see, playinourbreakdowncraft.com 1.18.1-Forge is automatically selected for us. But yeah, maybe this Forge profile. Either way, it's going to work. Click the green play button. You may need to click the green play button again in that little pop-up. And then Minecraft's going to open up with doggy talents installed and it might take even longer this time to open than it did before so just keep that in mind forge is still in beta as it says at the very, very top of the minecraft main menu in very prominent lettering that means you're gonna have issues you're gonna have longer loading times you're always gonna have longer loading times than vanilla minecraft with forge by the way but it's it's going to be a little longer right now because Minecraft Forge is in beta. So nevertheless, I'm not doing any cuts here, not doing anything. I just want to show you all the way through that we do land on the Minecraft main menu. And once we do, I'll check the mods tab and we'll jump in game and see some of Doggy Talents features. So here we are, click on mods and there is Doggy Talents too. Then we want to go ahead and jump into a single player world. I'm going to create a new one called Doggy Talents and we're going to go into creative just because that makes things easier. I'm now going to go ahead and do a jump cut. I will see you in game. So here we are in Minecraft. Now, Unfortunately, I'm not a... Wow, that's... I love these worlds. <laughs> I love the 1.18 generation. Absolutely incredible. Unfortunately, I've never been a, a great mod showcaser. However, I am going to go ahead and show you some of the cool stuff. Anybody else like doing that? Like, just... Whoosh. I don't know what it is. This is like a... This is like something I just have a lot of fun doing. Anyway, nevertheless... We need to go ahead, hit E, and you can click over and see Doggy Talents. Here's all the cool stuff you has added to the game. For example, you can add a throw bone, which is going to allow fetch. You can also have things like, you know, a stick that you can throw, different sort of stuff, training treats, super treats, all these different treats you can give your give your puppy there. Uh, dog charm, I think that might be a way to, like, um, make them return to you. I don't know exactly. Uh, treat bag, all sorts of awesome stuff, including a dog bath and a food bowl. And then we do have a bunch of different bed variants as well that you can add to your home. So, awesome stuff. Truly an amazing, amazing mod that really takes dogs to the next level. One of the things they do have as well is I believe dogs have skills and abilities that they can do that you can train. That is a great feature and really something cool because you can make dogs do stuff to, well, enhance your survival experience in Minecraft. So, nevertheless, thank you all so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more incredible content every single day of the week. We post amazing Minecraft videos. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I'm out. Peace.